Heat Inside the Earth by Aidan Peters There are different layers of the earth. Each layer gets hotter and hotter as you go deeper into the earth, and the pressure also increases. There are three main layers of the earth to get to the center. The first layer is called the crust. The crust is the layer that all living species, including humans, live on. It is also the only layer that is livable to humans. After you get through the 410 kilometer crust, the earth is already 870 degrees Fahrenheit and you're entering the mantle. This section of the earth is the biggest and it has the biggest temperature change. It goes from 410 degrees to 3,700 degrees Fahrenheit. The final layer of the earth is the core. The core is the hottest and part of a very important process called convection. Convection is a process that heats mantle material from the core. It rises. When it rises, it's eventually pushed all the way back to the crust where it cools and sinks back into the flaming hot core. Without convection, there would be no volcanoes, no or fewer mountains, and no earthquakes. This would be a planet with a super hot core and no fish in the ocean. The mantle is a big part of this process. When glaciers are on the surface, they push down into the crust. When the crust is pushed down, it also pushes in the mantle. When the glacier melts, though it lets all of its weight off the crust, therefore the mantle comes back up and is in the correct shape again. When Jules Verne wrote his book, Journey to the Center of the Earth, in 1864, he didn't know about glaciers shaping the earth yet. He also had no idea that when you went further into the earth, it got hotter. He didn't know that the outer part of the core was called the outer core and was liquid iron. When he wrote his book, everyone thought it would be exciting to travel to the center of the earth. But today, we know that was actually that is actually impossible and that you can't get past the crust without being killed by the heat. When Jules Verne wrote his book, he also had no idea about seismic waves traveling through the earth. Seismic waves are vibrations that travel through the earth. These vibrations are caused by man-made blasts or earthquakes. There are two types of seismic waves, the S waves and the P waves. S waves are slower than P waves. They go in a side-to-side -side motion and do not travel through liquids. P waves are faster than S, S waves. They go in a forward and backward motion and go through all materials. Since the outer core is liquid, iron, S waves cannot go through it. The far side of an S wave where it cannot be felt is called the S shadow. Credits. Earth Science Textbook, Chapter 7. Journey to the Center of the Earth, Lab Handout. Class Discussions. Images from Journey to the Center of the Earth. Assorted Web Images.